everybody, so Jason here. Uh, I've been asked quite a few times uh, the question, what is it that you do per se? Well, one of the things that I do uh, is video work, and the video work that I do has a lot of stuff involved with it. So I figured I'd give you a rundown of what I do before I go on a trip. Um, not say using them all, but getting all of my stuff ready and showing you what I have, uh, that way I can you know, just show you what I have and show you what I use on a typical trip that I take to do a corporate video or a video of any kind, really, uh, including time lapse, which I've gotten pretty good at and I enjoy. So let's start. Uh, for let's start with input, input, input. We've got the camera, Panasonic HVX 200. Pretty sweet camera. I do say so myself. Um, I personally use the, it works, um, I use the DVC Pro HD Firestore drive, it's a 250 gig compatible guy, um, a lot of people have said the problem with that is that this cord falls out. Well I, I wrap it, I velcro it, I'm not quite sure how it falls out, but uh, I guess you'd have to be running at full speed or something. Um, I'm not actually taking my Steadicam on this trip, my full vested Steadicam. I'm just taking this, uh, particularly for interviews. So I've got this camera for interviews uh, with the sweet 501 HDV head and the Manfrotto legs. What's really cool about this particular model, the 755XB, for those that can't see, uh, is that it's got this little tightening thing here. Um, that I can loosen up and bevel and bubble. So right now I'm off, but I don't care. So bevel and bubble. Um, I take three lights with me. These are two of them. They're the low wall uh, VIP lights here. Let's see the VIP system lights. They're pretty sick. Uh, I like them because I can use them for fill or I can use them for whatever I want here. Uh, and it's got this neat little adjustable. Here, let me see if I can show you. So when I'm feeling like it's too hot on the guy's head or it's not feeling enough, I can um, adjust this. And it brings the you know light a little bit bigger versus a little bit lower. Um, I use these umbrellas to shoot through, to shoot up on, to reflect off of for everything. Got two of those guys. Extension cords. Rest of the HVX case here. Um, additional battery for the HVX so that way I can charge and... Uh, be charging when I'm shooting so I don't ever run out. I also have a hard wire for um, hard power outlet for the fire store as well as a hard fire wire output or hard hard wire power input for the actual camera. Um, I carry a bunch of miscellaneous extra microphones in here, condensers, a uh, couple polarizer, circular polarizer, and I think a halfway lens. This one was fun. I've used this guy quite a bit. Uh, yeah, that's pretty. That's a wide angle. That's right. Let's see if I can get it. The 0 .6. 0 .6x. Century Pro. Solid. Uh, two extra batteries. Two extra fire store cards. I only have the 8 gigs just because um, I got my camera way back when. Big flashlight, obviously. Um, then we can go over here. So the HVX I use for interviews and for primary uh, shooting and all that garble, garbly gook. And then I have this fun machine. As you can see, the Glidecam HD 4000. Using that, coupled with my 5D Mark II, um, which I love. <laughs> I have my hardwire for the 5D Mark II in case that camera poops out. We've got um, yeah, hard wire, an extra 50 mil lens. I use this one a lot. Whenever I don't, whenever I know my situation, I normally go with the 50. Otherwise, I use the Canon zoom lens, um, the stock zoom lens for the 5D, just because it, it fits so many different situations. Um, for my audio on the HVX, I have the Sennheiser, Sennheiser EW uh, 100G2s. They were fairly cheap for what I wanted them to do, and then they turned out to be awesome. Um, I'd rather have an Electrosonics, but I don't have that kind of money. So, uh, well, I, I don't want to blow it on gear even more than what I have. So, uh, moving on from the 5D Mark II, going over to uh, the newest edition, well, one of the newest editions of the family, 
the uh, GoPro. Um, GoPro backpack, GoPro LCD uh, monitor, surf package, helmet cam, all of the extra little mounts. I bought all the little things because you never know when you're in the field and uh, you get stuck on a stinking 10 cent piece. Like I think, I think this was a dollar for a, a camera mount, a uh, tripod mounted uh, little doohickey for the bottom mount of the HD Pro and I'd hate to get out there and be on some fishing boat and get stuck because I didn't have this piece for like a dollar so I bought it. Um, helmet, this is for like a basic strap helmet for if I want to put it on a helmet or whatever um, and then I always have these devices you know I use them for, from phones or whatever they're just HB uh, they're just USB uh, 5 volt you know, chargers. Um, I ended up buying two, uh, I, the two of the 32 gig um, SD cards in here. Pretty solid here. Hang on a sec. So far, this is my biggest complaint with the GoPro is that it's kind of hard to get out of there. So, two of the 32 giggers. One for this camera, one for the current camera I'm using, which is the uh, Kodak ZX5 shockproof, uh, waterproof, up to three meter guy. It's pretty sweet. Um, these are the cards I usually take with me. These two uh, are the Hail Mary cards. Um, when all else fails and I need to get that last shot, I have those guys. Um, these are my standards. If I'm shooting a lot of video, I'll shoot the eight and then offload. Um, eight and offload, eight and offload kind of the same thing with my old HVX concept uh, and then I have my Wintex FileMate 64 gig capacities uh, these guys are for when I'm doing a lot of time lapse and things of that nature um, but they work just fine for video uh, they have a 45 uh, megabyte second read time which is the same as the extremes um, I honestly haven't been able to find a difference between these two cards people say there's some shutter effects and stuff with this and the 5D but I haven't I haven't personally seen it. Um, this is my backup section here. I've got my backup card reader, uh, one of two of them, uh, obviously the phone. iPod, I always use that. Um, I always fill that before I leave with uh, videos to show clients of what I've done, what I can do, what they may want me to do later in the future because every job leads to more jobs. Uh, extra batteries of mini. These are cool clips I picked up. Um, they're just clips, real easy. Simple, fun, uh, but they have that, that hook, right? And uh, I have found like a billion different uses for these little things. I got them off of a friend who makes uh, fishing stuff, Angler Innovations. Uh, one of his buddies makes these, and uh, I picked up a couple. They are fantastic. Uh, always bring an extra slide plate uh, with the extra little bumps in here because you never know who's going to be there with what. Um, and if your stuff breaks and you need to buy something, that's always good to have. Uh, extra extension for USB extension, extra USB hub, extra set of headphones, extra light bulbs for all of the cameras, extra cords for all, everything, all that stuff. Um, card readers, second, third, fourth, however many card readers. I think I do three usually. Um, computer offload station. Um, I do my offloads kind of in a different way from the way I like to do them, which is I use, uh, let's see if I can get in there, the net disk stuff. Hopefully you didn't see my numbers, but uh, the NetDisk is solid, man. They have IOCell makes these NetDisks that um, I'm able to use an old, old school laptop and still run at gigabit speeds. So I take one of these. Um, this guy currently has um, two uh, three terabyte drives in it. I connect that guy to uh, just a basic Netgear, you know, 60 or gigabit network thing and run it all the way over to here. So the way it works, my input goes from camera stuff, all that stuff, to memory card, to sweet, fast gigabit card uh, reader, all the way in here, and then it goes all the way to the drive. Um, I use my own software stuff for data backup and all that groovy things. Um, yep, extra can light. And that all will fit in this bag, uh, my sweet Lowell uh, thing. It's got a polar bear on it. Sweet uh, the, the backpack's all recycled or some crap. It's pretty good. Uh, and my old petrol bag. That was my first camera bag. Solid. That all fits. All fits. In there.
along with some clothes. So I have that uh, clothes, and that should do it. All right. Hope you enjoyed my little rundown of a uh, little bit of what I do and the stuff that I use when I go on a trip. So, adios.